In this demonstration, we'll see the out-of-the-box power of Syntelec Search, enabling for quick and easy finding of data and collaboration across teams. In order to do this, we're going to go into the search interface and utilize a set of data related to the September 11th attacks. Here we see that there's a range of ways in which we can search. We can do raw text search. We can search for extracted text. We can look at document tags, which could be flags. We can utilize metadata, date times. We can look for a similar document if we have a document of interest. And we can also take advantage of the structured view of data that Syntelex has created, allowing us to look for an individual that may share a name with other individuals across a set of data. Firstly, let's look at the text search. Here we see I've used BOM and then a wildcard, so I'm looking for any variation of BOM in my data. I can view the results in context. I can open up the full document and I can set the focus on the document as required. I can stack as many of these queries up as I desire. So here we're adding Terra and we see we can continue this as required. As well as wildcards, you have fuzzy searching, proximity searching, Boolean logic, synonyms, and a range of other techniques available. If we can also utilize predefined watch lists as well as raw text. So here I'm doing a search for a predefined list of weapons that I've added to the system. Moving on from the raw text search, we'll briefly look at the extracted text search. And here we see I'm looking for all the people in my data. As before, I could either enter text or utilize a watch list to look for a particular person of interest. In this case, I'm searching for someone whose name contains Ali. I can also utilize context. So here I can say I'm interested in people in the context of bombing or of bomb, which is what we're seeing here. I can also utilize some more specialist syntax, which allow me to refer back to the extracted text. So here we're looking for when a person said something. So we can look for statements within the data. Moving on from this, and the final example that we'll show in this brief overview of search, is how we can look for an individual. So if I move to my Fuse network view of this data, I can look for the individual of interest. In this case, Abu Hamza. And I can right click here and say document search. And now I'm looking for that individual in my set of data. Even if other individuals share that name, I will only see the person of interest. We see it also includes anaphores, such as he and him, that have been clustered into the uh, Abu Hamza cluster. And again, I can add a context query. So, and here we see him in the context of Jihad. This is, again, just barely scratch a surface as what's possible with Syntelec Search. Everything, every, any search that you define can be an alert scheduled to run periodically against data. It can also be saved and shared among yourself and colleagues. So what we've seen in this demonstration is the power of Syntelec Search enabling the locating, exploitation and collaboration of data.